everyone, Shapnam here, a psychological counselor and a certified e-master trainer. Today, I am going to give an answer for a common question asked by my students. Ma'am, how long will it take for me to speak fluently in English? Do you wish to know how an IT professional who had two years of experience in a small IT firm had multiple certifications, a very good percentage and was technically sound got dejected in his life as he got rejected in a couple of interviews because he could not speak fluently in English and what he did to achieve his dream of getting placed in a multinational company within 90 days and after which within two years he got an on-site opportunity and no one could stop him from achieving his dreams and becoming successful in his life. It was in 2009, I was interviewing the, the candidates for an opening in an IT firm. This particular candidate was very good in everything but he was not able to converse fluently in English. So I told him that I would not be able to process him for that particular, particular opening so he got very irritated. I had to tell him that one of the major requirement of this particular company was excellent communication skills. So he got irritated, showed anger and walked away. On this way back home, he took drinks and when he went back home, he bumped into uh, his neighbor who was a retired army officer. And when he understood what happened with him, he offered to help him. From the very next day, they started working on his communication skills. He started putting in four to five hours every day on working on his communication skills. He started practicing reading, writing. He started listening to a couple of YouTube videos and English songs. He told me that he used to spend one to one and a half an hour every day reading and writing. He used to pick up the new vocabulary, find the meanings and he started making sentences. He started writing parag simple paragraphs and the military officer used to correct it for him. Every evening they had spent one to one and a half an hour conversing in English and the officer used to correct him when he does some mistakes. After three months he attended an interview in a very big IT firm and he got placed. After which he had come to meet me with a box of sweets to thank me. Initially I could not recognize him. Then he asked me, Ma'am, do you remember? I am Santosh. I had come and met you three months back and you said you could not process me for an IT firm because of my communication skills and I showed irritation and I walked away. He said, that day was the turning point in my life. I realized that the biggest uh, no, obstacle in my life was I was not able to converse fluently in English. So I started working on that. And it's three months now I have got placed in my dream company. So when Santosh could do it, why can't you? All that he had is he had given, taken out time, put in a lot of hard work, he was determined and he had a belief in himself that he could do it and no one could stop him from achieving his dream of getting placed in his dream company. Remember one thing, nothing is impossible in life. If you're determined and if you have the willpower and if you're consistent, you can surely achieve it. So hope this information was useful to you and if it was useful to you, please do give me a thumbs up. Do subscribe to my channel The Counseling Corner. Share my video with your friends and most important, hit the bell icon so that you get timely notifications whenever I post my new video. Thank you so much. See you next time.